Hey everybody, my name is Joanna. Welcome to Lingoni English. Today, I want to teach you about three common sports idioms you may hear in American English, especially in the business world or at the workplace. Let's get started. First, game plan. Your boss may walk up to you and say, the project is due next week. Come up with a game plan for success. What are they talking about? In sports, a game plan is, well, a plan for playing the game. The what, how, when, and why in order to reach the goals of the game. But more than that, it's usually a plan for actually winning the game. Not too hard, right? So in the business world, you may hear people talk about a game plan. This is simply a plan for success, whether it's growing the company or making more money or cutting costs to save that hard earned money. Well, here's how you might use or hear game plan at your workplace. The CEO laid out a game plan for the next five years. She said she wants the company to become a global leader in technology. Or perhaps, we need to come up with a game plan if we want our department to run more smoothly. Things have just been out of control lately and everyone is frustrated and confused. Can we meet later? I know what it's like to be the new person in the office and everything can be a little stressful at first. Let me help you come up with a game plan for success. What's your game plan to meet the end of the year sales goals? Next sports idiom you might hear is sideline. In sports, if a player is sidelined, they can no longer play. They may have been injured or they have broken the rules of the game. Whatever the reason though, they are no longer allowed to play. So in business, people use sideline to talk about a person or project that has been stopped. It may be temporary or permanent. The person using this expression may even be talking about themselves. Here are some examples of how to use sideline. The boss just called, the company is sidelining my project until we get more funding. I won't be working on it anymore. I hope the money comes through. The board of directors voted this morning. They're going to sideline the new business deal. Things were just not working out the way they had hoped. They're gonna look at things next year. Have you heard about Alan? He hasn't been showing up on time. He's been missing several deadlines lately. So he's been sidelined as department manager for good. Finally, Hail Mary. The idiom Hail Mary is used to talk about a final chance to make something happen the way you hope or want it to. In American football, a player on the losing team may decide to throw the football to who knows where during the last few seconds of the game. The player is hoping that somehow a fellow team member will catch the ball and their team will not lose the game. That throwing of the ball without any real plan or thought is called a Hail Mary pass, or just a Hail Mary. So in a business context, you want the business to be successful. In a personal context, you want that relationship to work out. Either way, you're doing something as a last attempt to make it all okay. Here's how you might use Hail Mary and remember the results of each situation may be different or even unknown. Their business had finally run out of money and they were gonna close later that day. They tried to get a loan from the bank. It was a last minute Hail Mary move by the owners. Bob sent Lisa a dozen roses. That was his Hail Mary to try to save his marriage. I was failing class. I wasn't going to pass. As a final Hail Mary, I asked the instructor for extra credit 
to bring up my grade. The government leaders wanted to pass the bill, but the chances for success were slim. So they tried some kind of Hail Mary so it would go into law next week. All right, now you know a few common sports idioms you might hear in American English. What are some common sports idioms from your country and language? Comment below and tell us how and when they are used. Practice using the sports idioms we talked about today. Thanks for watching Lingoni English. See you next time.